there are certain Egyptians you saw by reason of where you are standing in the name of my God and your God you will never see them again forever you will never see them again forever you will never see them again forever Hallelujah. I presume that many of us here perhaps are in school one of the campuses around I hope you know that it takes the Spirit of God to make men intelligent hallelujah I once prayed for a gentleman who was purported to be very smart but it looks like his intelligence just disappears in an example he will help people conduct tutorials but when he sits down there he will write rubbish and remember his answer later in the evening hallelujah and let me pray for someone you have tried and tried there are three ways to open doors you may have heard me teach this number one is through the use of correct keys when you use correct keys doors open the second way we open doors is by knocking but the problem with knocking is that the person at the other side must love you enough to open the door are we together but the third way not very pleasant but effective of opening doors is by breaking them the Bible says at midnight Paul and Silas they prayed they sang and everyone in the prison heard them suddenly your Bible my Bible says there was an earthquake and when it came there it rattled the foundation of that prison and then it says all doors not some all doors whether the key was there or not all doors open he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder. In one minute, I'd like you to open your mouth. Any category that your case falls under tonight, insist that within the next 10 minutes, do a quick walk in my life, oh God. Enugu, are you praying? Do a quick walk over my health, over my family. Do a quick walk. Students, pray. Family members pray, business people pray, those in ministry pray, do a quick walk, oh God. One thing is for sure, that I will never return the way I came. I have tabernacled in your presence. Let the rewards and the blessings that follow your presence follow me. Someone is praying. All those who are at the tents, the overflows. I hope you are praying. Someone get angry in your spirit. Enough is enough. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Pray for your children. Pray for your spouse. Pray for the prayer ministry God gave you. Pray for the apostolic ministry He gave you. That prophetic ministry He gave you. It's time to soar in the spirit. hallelujah 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 becoming angry listen becoming angry with your current situation is a prerequisite to rising there is nothing in your life that will change when you are comfortable with it why the shame why the mockery in my life oh god arise for the sake of your name why the stuntedness in my ministry why the stuntedness in my business hallelujah listen let me tell you this a time came in my life when i acknowledged the fact that the favor of god was not yet working in my life i had to admit it with sincerity it was a february from the first of february till the 28 or 29th i can't remember of that month i took out time to pray and deal with the issue of favor i knew that if the favor of god was not upon my life i i would have a hard time doing ministry and perhaps it could tilt me towards the corridors of compromise and i didn't want that 
and so I had to flog it out with destiny. There is something about a person who is determined. Listen, if your father did not pray this prayer, you are praying for the sake of your children, pray it. Are we together now? If those who went ahead of you, those who've gone ahead of you, if they were careless and did not take responsibility, don't blame them. But now that you are an enlightened believer, hold on to the horns of the altar and say, Lord, tonight, tonight, I've been attending many SOA conferences, but let this be my own. Let me give you one more minute to pray before I begin to minister. I'd like you to insist. Mention the condition by name. Don't assume. Go ahead. Be anxious for nothing, the Bible says, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving it says let your request be made known unto God mention it by name Lord this delay must come to an end mention it by name this financial stagnation mention it by name this oppression over my health over my body over my son my daughter my spouse in the name of Jesus Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Pray. Hallelujah. Let it rain, let it rain, open the floodgates of heaven, let it rain, let it rain, open the floodgates of heaven. Praise the name of the Lord. Now please I want you to listen to me. Such a strong presence in this place. We'll do a very quick walk in this meeting. But I want to pray for you. I'm going to be praying and ministering to the sick shortly. But I felt stirred in my heart to begin this miracle service with an impartation. An impartation means that you have a chance to access graces that you did not come here with very strong anointings and graces that rest upon you and I want to pray now there might not be space enough space but if I do ask you to bring a few people out please bring them once the front is exhausted then that's fine we have to work with what we have but I want to pray for you I really want to pray for you I feel a stirring in my spirit and there is a grace that I want to release upon you hallelujah I'm hearing in my spirit visions. God wants to open people to the realm of visions. Acute illumination by the spirit. I want to stretch my hands right now. I want you to please bring those people out for me. Father, in the name of Jesus, the men and women that must drink of this fountain of supernatural encounters because Emmanuel is with us right now in the name of Jesus. Let that grace rest upon you now. Let that grace rest upon you. 
as the power of God comes upon them I want you to pick them and bring them out the light of God will fall upon you and in the name of Jesus may your eyes be open to start seeing open to see may your ears be open to hear in the name of Jesus hallelujah oh well those under the anointing are the ones to come out but then since you are out let me just pray for you in Jesus name may the Lord help you open you up to these realms of visions by the power of the Holy Spirit for all of you who are here in front the Lord show you mercy in Jesus name you may return to your seat please I'm going to pray right now I want you to bring okay who is Stella Stella I'm hearing a name Stella I can imagine that there might be many people with that name I have just about 10 minutes and I want to walk with time I'm hearing the name Stella and the Lord is speaking to me that he wants to bring a visitation to the family of Stella in the name of Jesus Christ the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords how many of you believe in speed this is a grace that I know that when it comes upon a man it can redeem time can I release that grace upon you to pastors to families to prophets to apostles to businessmen I stretch my hand let this mantle from heaven speed take that grace now take that grace now inside and outside bring them out I declare speed upon your life speed upon your business speed upon your destiny no more delay i cause the spirit of delay i i call it by name help them please my god and i cause it by the god of heaven delay live your life now here at four conference 2023 every altar that sponsors delay in your life it comes under judgment now comes under judgment now comes under judgment now open your mouth in one minute and rebuke the spirit of delay over in my life over in ministry by the power that raised christ from the dead pray speed is coming to your life i tell you there is a man of god here the way god will start moving you in ministry you will become a voice in this city i'm seeing it in my visions may that grace rest upon you in the name of jesus christ By your spirit I will rise From the ashes of defeat The resurrected King Is resurrecting me In your name I come alive To declare your victory The resurrected King Is resurrecting me By your spirit I will rise hallelujah hallelujah the Lord is showing me something that looks like a rope and I'm seeing it tied to the feet of people and the Lord is saying I should release those families I don't know what family is here whose destiny has been tied children tied career people tied a graduate but no advancement right now I decree and declare at the count of three I want you to shout Jesus and that fire will fall upon you 
and your family will be set free are you ready now one two three shout jesus release them now change be broken change be broken change be broken i release every family that has been tied down this is the lord's house we are forget liberty all the tents all the overflows follow it online be set free now hallelujah hallelujah now i'm seeing in my vision three ladies they come from a family where marriage never works three ladies they are three sisters this is what god is showing me i know we may not have the time please help her in the name of jesus i rebuke that spirit and i decree and declare any family that has been tied down here i say it again that you will not rise i declare may those chains be broken now may those chains be broken now may those chains be broken now hallelujah praise the name of the lord there's a gentleman here you studied law you are a lawyer but things have not been working for you at all this is what god is showing me i'm trying to work with time my sincere apologies you are a lawyer like a barrister or so you studied law is there such a gentleman here i want to speak to you i know that our time and but i want to speak to you where is that person your deliverance has come please verify make sure that they hallelujah jane who is jane that should be a lady's name jane j-a-n-e jane i'm hearing the name jane and the lord is saying that siege that has sat upon your family jane Ah, wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name I decree and declare everything that has held the family of Jane as God is speaking to them he's speaking to you let it be broken now let it be broken now help her please let it be broken now let it be broken now let it be broken now in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah the Lord is showing me someone here for 11 years is it your brother or your father has been trying to build and they've not completed it 11 years this is what I'm seeing who is that person please make sure that it is the case that I mentioned let's examine this in 11 years they've been trying to build there is something called the finisher's anointing it is a grace that comes upon a man and grants for completion don't worry if there's no space you can stand where you are please there's no space you can stand where you are this man you're building you for that long i'm not saying if you are having a building project please listen instructions are important in the presence of god i'm not saying if you are building and you want it to be complete i will pray that one later on i'm talking about someone for over 11 years you have been building and have not been able to complete it can i pray for you the power of god is coming on one of you right now I just saw this in my vision when that happens i will pray for you these are signs why god does this thing sometimes i don't know but there's a mighty fire among those of you who are in front here that fire is coming upon one of you and the moment that happens then i pray for you now i can pray for you in the name of jesus i decree and declare whatever has stopped these projects from coming to fruition to completion i decree and declare in the name of jesus some of you even from now between now and the end of the year the way resources will come supernaturally 
help that woman in the name of Jesus I release resources by prophecy I release resources prophetically and by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet they were preserved he says believe in the Lord your God so shall you be established believe his prophet so shall you prosper I prophesy to you and over you may my God bring resources to your life in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ now um, I will pray for this one so that they clear the way all of you who are out here I stretch my hands over you and in the name of Jesus you return with your miracles that which the Lord has done remains permanent in Jesus name I pray the Lord is ministering to me there is a family that has a pattern of diabetes the Lord wants to bring it to an end now diabetes please don't be distracted eh? your word is coming your word is coming make sure your heart is prepared to receive your word is coming there is someone the power of God is coming on the person right at the back just this row as I'm standing right at the back please I want you to carry the person if you can and bring the person for me right at the back I'm praying for families with the pattern of diabetes I want to rebuke that devil now when, when I make the call don't worry if I don't ask you to come you can just remain where you are so we walk with time but I need to pray that means your siblings it's not just you who has suffered it this is Mount Zion and the Lord is going to bring you healing if you don't believe you'll be healed don't come out so you don't waste your time the power of God is on you I command that devil out of her now out of her the name of Jesus out of her where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty this is your house your own we welcome you lord we welcome you this is your house your One more time that I am your house and your home. I welcome you, Lord. I welcome you. I am your house, your home. I welcome you today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I had the opportunity to pray for someone one time, sir. The person's leg, you know how you are cutting an animal, like maybe a cow, and you are shredding part of it. All you could see the bones. I'm not exaggerating. And they said that thing was caused by diabetes. I never knew that this thing called diabetes could create ulcers like that. I'm not a medical person. And it, there was nothing that was administered to that person to be healed and to be free it was already touching the bones and if the bones began to get rotten the only thing that would be left was to um, to um, um, amputate the leg and I said that devil is a liar I want to pray for you please believe please believe you will never forget this conference in a long time ah, I just saw light on two of you two of you two of the people in front light I just saw that light now don't mind me let me do my thing I was born for this in the name of Jesus this lady wearing yellow you are one of such people that light is coming upon you and in the name of Jesus I decree and declare let every foul devil connected to ancestry release you and release your loved ones now and forever now I stretch my hands upon every one of you listen Please believe in the healing ministry. Not everybody is acting. 
and not everybody is playing games there are people who fear God you can carry a genuine healing grace that shows and I'm praying as I'm praying for them I believe there's someone who came for this meeting as part of the many tools for the ministry God is calling you into you need a rich deposit of the healing anointing otherwise the gates of nations will not open for you are we together the end time church is not a noise making church it's an impactful church father I stretch my hands right now mama please place your hand on your chest yes in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands let the healing power of Jesus my God something is flowing here right now diabetes you are a spirit I call you by name and I cost you help her please help that woman you know why I prayed for her help oh my God please help her she's an elderly woman no problem just guide her I mean there is a reason why I asked her to place her hand mama please don't be embarrassed there eh? do you know what happened to you there is something that if I don't pray for you for I see that this thing I'm not a prophet of doom this thing would have taken your life that's why I said place your hand on your chest I'm praying for you diabetes in whatever form and expression it has come the same way it came let that devil be packing now let that devil pack out of your life now therefore be healed now be healed from diabetes now whether you are in the crowd or you are here let that power touch you now be healed from diabetes never to return to you again in Jesus name I pray please return to your seat rejoicing return to your seat rejoicing now the Lord is asking me to pray for people and particularly for those people I'm going to make a request I will first ask you to lift your hands if you are not many I will ask you to come but if you are then you will stay there if you have any case of insanity in your family that means there is someone related to you who is having some kind of a what medical people you see sometimes this English huh? a mental or some psychosomatic problem lift your hands let me see you I'm not saying you know someone someone connected to you by blood either a, gen a gentleman who is mad like the madman in Gadara is there someone like that oh there are so many people how do we do this now just keep your hands lifted if I ask you to come out will take a lot of time do you believe that God can do a miracle for them I respect medicine I'm full of doctors and medical practitioners around my life but I submit to you that almost all conditions of madness is a direct product of spirits can be enhanced by things like drugs because there are people who take um, all these drugs that they take and pass out and keep passing out till they become mad so it can be enhanced by those things but I can tell you those drugs and those practices only gave room for spirits people don't just be God did not create I hope you know it's God that created men we have created aircrafts that can stay 30 years and still be working God will not create a human being that after 25 years just packs up like that there is a spirit corrupting God's artistry and God's creativity I want to pray for you many of you will return back to this altar and testify that your loved one who perhaps is in a rehab or whatever that also includes a loved one who is I'm going to pray for addiction shortly any kind of addiction that wants to destroy you this is the conference where you lay it down once and for all you, you, you shouldn't get back to drugs and all kinds of things do you know that there are people I don't like injection but do you know that there are people who have the courage to inject themselves every day as painful as that thing is they do it every day many times a day many times a day they wake up and inject themselves later they inject themselves by night they inject themselves and their whole body is full of these things you see one day it just leads to this madness we're talking about I know a God who is merciful and kind faithful and gracious and the 
chapel of his eyes The fire that fills his heart Every morning, noon and night You believe what you're singing? He loved me when I didn't care I was patient till I came Running back into his arms Look how he's turned my life around Made me a shining star His glory to reveal Come on, Elipo, let's worship I will worship you forever of insanity that has plagued families wasting their resources causing division and all kinds of confusion by the power that raised Christ from the dead right now we arrest those spirits and we release the victims right now we release the victims right now we release the victims right now, the right now. in the name of Jesus Christ now hear me I want to pray for the sick generally right now generally right now I believe in the healing ministry that Jesus left to the church and I believe that before he returns there will be a full weight restoration of the healing ministry I believe this with all my heart lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle take your eyes away from the situation and look unto Jesus and you watch what he does in your life I know that the sickness stands as a mountain before you blood condition for some cancer for some HIV for some some kinds of lump and growth around your body perhaps prostrate for some arthritis for some eye condition for some I mustn't mention your case Take a step of faith. Hallelujah. Back pain for some. Lumbar issues for some. Pile. Painful pile. All kinds of respiratory conditions. There are some right now. Your kidneys. Your liver is almost packing up. Your heart. Palpitations. And it's almost like oxygen is not flowing properly to your body you've begun to feel numbness around your body and this looks like symptoms of clogged arteries i want to pray for you for as long as i live i will ensure that every day of my life someone experiences the healing power of jesus because he's alive and the greatest form of liberty is life the greatest form of bondage is death without Jesus the last enemy to be destroyed is death because death without Jesus is the zenith of hopelessness that means when he gives life he says I am come that he may have life healing is a subdivision of life the ministry of life demands that everything life captures be featured in your life that includes healing includes restoration hallelujah eye conditions perhaps you are having a serious eye condition maybe one is already going blind i see people lifting up phones lifting up medical reports perhaps for themselves or for others i know someone who 
could be in a silent quiet room but the left ear you keep hearing all kinds of um, sounds this is somebody that I once ministered to you know like like there's noise like there's rain just on one part of the ear goiter someone's neck is beginning to swell I think that should be deficiency of iodine or something like that yes goiter you're beginning to have projections around your neck lay your hands is about to leave right now there's someone I want to pray for you because I'm sensing you have it looks like appendicitis but it's not appendicitis but just where someone with that condition will feel pain you've been having that pain for a long time I'm, I'm going to pray for you right now listen I'm ministering by the Spirit of God there's someone you once fell and you fell here with the back of your head from that time you've been having like migraines excruciating pain you've been afraid of going to the hospital because you do not even know what they're going to tell you has happened but I need to pray for you the Lord is showing me a gentleman and there is also a lady you had an accident with someone one time it was a head-on collision you didn't enjoy yourself physically but from that day you are not all right and you've been afraid also to go to the hospital perhaps there are internal maybe organs or some kinds of bleedings the Lord is going to set you free right now ulcer very severe painful ulcer I'm seeing someone who is going through this case right now in fact there's someone I don't know what the overflow is this one that is just directly by my side the tent there the Lord is showing me a gentleman there I need to pray for you you are not able to move your neck very well I don't know whether you are wearing whatever it is but I'm seeing that there's severe pain if you you cannot even lie down on one side because you feel severe pain now there is a lady that God wants to heal and you don't have to come out I'm going to mention your case then I pray you have some kind of problem with your respiratory tract you snore very seriously this has nothing to do with lying down wrongly you understand it's something that people have to wake you because it almost looks like you can die you can pass out the Lord wants to bring you healing by the Spirit of the Living God I'm seeing someone having a severe pain around his ankle severe pain around his ankle and for those of you who are standing in for your loved ones maybe connecting in hospitals do you know it is amazing how that doctors right now are in, in, a, in an ever-growing manner believing in the supernatural during our miracle services you, you cannot imagine how many hospitals literally just put the screen and allow their patients and the kind of profound miracles that come out there yes that's what Jesus is able to do you sent your word and it healed my disease you are the Lord, my healer. I want to pray for you now. Please just help those under the anointing. You don't have to bring them out. But I want to minister the power of God. If you've never believed in the healing ministry, for God's sake, believe this once. Jesus heals. He really does. Father, in the name of Jesus, by the blood of the eternal covenant, I hope you know that is where the power of healing flows if you understand the cross then you will understand the healing ministry because that is where the power flows by his stripes the Bible says crucified lay behind us you lead to die rejected Trampled on the ground You 
to the fall and tired of the heat at the Let's pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command every spirit of infirmity in whatever form or fashion it has plagued God's people by the blood of the eternal covenant I decree and declare that spirit lives now my God that spirit lives now that spirit lives now right now I stretch my hands and I decree and declare let the healing anointing flow to your body now let the healing anointing flow to your parakos keba shadeke kesodasia krapes keberendos kaliata in the name of jesus christ let that stream of healing flow to your body now be healed in the name of jesus blood conditions be healed in the name of jesus Goiter, be healed in the name of Jesus. Ulcers, be healed in the name of Jesus. Pile, be healed in the name of Jesus. Every kind of growth in your body, fibroids, lumps, kadikatos, kebreketos, be healed in the name of Jesus. Heart palpitations kidney problems liver problems heart problems be healed now in the name of jesus eye conditions i rebuke blindness i rebuke cataract i rebuke glaucoma short-sightedness long-sightedness be healed in the name of jesus every kind of bone condition I saw this case I'm about to mention now the last time I was in this city while I was ministering I saw this case and the Lord is showing me a similar case again this is what we call impotency I need to pray for that person in the name of you don't have to come out but in the name of Jesus this is something that has really affected your marriage I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead let a miracle happen this moment let a miracle happen this moment we cause that spirit of impotency in the name of Jesus and for every daughter of Zion who has not been able to put forth a child regardless what the medical situation is we agree as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ this moment in the name of Jesus we call you a joyful mother of children we call you a joyful mother of children help them please my God we call you a joyful mother of children and that according to the time of life return with your miracle children ear condition be healed now bone conditions be healed now every other case whether i mentioned it prophetically or not provided it is a disease in your body in the name that is above all names be healed from it now and for your loved ones who may not be here wherever they are you have the faith to believe i stretch my hands as god is touching you may he touch them in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ, name of jesus christ. now hear me there are people here your challenge is not sickness you are not sick in your body in as much as you know but yours is that you are trusting God for certain things to happen in your life I want to pray for you in the name that is above all names everything that has remained a prayer point for a long time 
every time you are asked to write prayer points you write it then write it again then write it again long-standing issues i release my faith with you by the spirit that raised christ from the dead let this season be a season of manifestation let this be a season of manifestation in the name of jesus christ hear me everyone who is in school here undergraduate postgraduate i stretch my hands upon you the kind of intelligence you have never experienced in your life let that grace rest on you now let that grace rest on you now let that grace rest on you now in the name of jesus christ and for everyone trusting god for employment or trusting god to excel in business i want to release this grace upon you wherever your job is whether in enugu or anywhere across the east or anywhere in nigeria or anywhere in the world I relocate you to your place of relevance I relocate you to your place of relevance in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is showing me someone you and I think is it your wife or your sister now I'm seeing a lady you applied for a US visa and you were denied go back and apply again I'm saying this prophetically to you Go back and apply again. And may the God of wonders surprise you. I don't know who should have remembered you but forgot you. In the name of Jesus, wherever they are, we stand here as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ and we declare that they will remember you now. They will remember you now. Now, ladies and gentlemen, my final prayer for you I want to place something upon your life it's called the grace of favor there is a real grace called favor and it can come upon men and speak evidently in their life i stand upon this altar as a privileged career of this grace and i pray for you in a way you have never experienced whether in your life whether in your ministry may that grace mantle you right now May that grace mantle you right now. May that grace May that grace mantle you right now. Carry the grace for favor. Let it speak in your finances. Let it speak in your ministry. Let it speak in your family. Let it speak in your business. In the name of Jesus. From the rising of the sun Right on till it's going down I will sing of the glory of the Lord Oh, you've been standing here. My apologies. You are the lawyer. I can't even remember why I called you out. I want to pray for you. What do you do? I'm a mean, practicing lawyer. Father, in Jesus' name, I'm praying for this man since you came out openly may the nation see you so that when, when you come to testify it will be clear that the hand of god has come upon your life i stretch my hands and i declare the gates of your destiny be open hither and teeter may the lord shift you to a higher dimension in your practice connect you to strategic opportunities in the name of jesus i make a decree on this and may the lord honor it in Jesus name I pray God bless you sir thank you can you begin to pray in the spirit until your hand rests upon you go ahead and pray
And whilst we are praying at the same time may i request that you bring out your prayer requests and you can pass it do we have ushers that can help us make this happen so you can pass your request to the person at the aisle and then they will pick it up and bring it here so we'll just do everything very quickly while you are writing your prayer request those online here is your chance i'd like you to be praying already in the name of jesus the son of the living god these egyptians that i see today this trouble this situation listen I submit to you by the power of the Holy Spirit I didn't start this as a ritual I didn't even know that they used to collect this it was by revelation and it was a covenant of answered prayer that every time you see it's not a ritual no no this is the most accurate representation of your faith and your desires the bible says be anxious for nothing but in everything philippians 4 and verse 6 by prayer and supplication it says let your request be made known don't assume let your request be made known unto god hallelujah if you need a minute to write a few things perhaps you omitted some other things out of fear shake away fear and write everything that you believe the god of sabaoth will do for you we're talking about the hand of god the hand of god can scatter the mountains break to pieces everything is it a rent issue is it an issue with your home is it an issue of a child what is it that god cannot do hallelujah those online i want you to connect we're about to pray we're stepping into a prophetic moment right now and if you need to invite everybody around you to say here is a point we're praying we're releasing the anointing coming upon someone coming upon a destiny a man of god is about to encounter a higher level of grace a business person for someone from this oasis conference you will not forget it in a hurry listen when samuel anointed saul three things happened to saul number one he said the donkey that has been missing has now gone back home there is restoration when the anointing comes upon you that things you have lost relationships you have lost for someone you lost a job for someone you lost your finances perhaps in a wrong business it doesn't matter in what form or fashion believe the god of heaven to surprise you with the anointing comes restoration number two with the anointing comes favor and honor you will see three men holding two loaf of bread they will salute you and they will give to you and it says to receive from them for some of you you will be surprised that in this atmosphere of worship even before service is done you will check your phone and you will see at last where are you i need to see you and you are wondering for what listen let me say this with all due respect just because people have made nonsense out of supernatural experiences should not make you believe everybody's a joker on stage there are people who fear god and the word of god is upon their lips tonight if you believe congratulations if you don't save johnny maybe next year you will believe hallelujah praise the name of the lord i'm going to request that pastor nat will usher our prayer session by blowing the trumpet i'm always very happy if he's by my side and i'm ministering do you know why because the bible tells us that when the trump of god shall sound there will be a rising right from the grave when the trump of god sounds even the grave does not hold men when the there is a sound in the realm of the spirit 
that equals elevation equals rising whether you are from the grave no matter how long you don't need to go to the graves one by one jesus spoke to one man's grave but when the trumpet is a signal that as soon as the sound of the trump of the archangel all of a sudden there will be a massive rising we're using this prophetically that by the sound of the trumpet i want to see to see yourself that if you were here i want you to see yourself rising by the spirit at the sound of the trumpet i want you to see yourself beyond the song that the trumpet is singing i want you to see yourself ascending a ladder so this is what you are doing in my life this is what you are doing in my ministry the hand of god reaching through worship elevating someone lifting someone changing your level wiping your tears are you ready the moment the trumpet as he begins to worship for a few minutes you begin to pray in the spirit and while you are praying see yourself pray let your mind be part of your prayer process yes sir see yourself rising arise shine arise shine arise shine by the hand of god arise from the depression and the prostration that circumstances have kept you god is speaking to someone arise by the hand of god by the spirit of god arise in business arise in ministry arise in destiny arise from the grave we command the grave be open 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 financial grave be open marital grave be open ministerial grave be open in the name of jesus Hallelujah. Someone is prophesying. I'm rising. I'm rising by the hand of God. Let the realm of the spirit hear your voice. I am rising. Oh, I'm rising. I am rising. We will rise in your name. I don't rise. You, you reign on high. Professor, I am rising we will from rise. the shadow. Rising from we every limitation. hallelujah hallelujah we're about to pray now please listen let me have your attention let me have your attention please listen 
there are four things that are going to happen in this place concurrently at the same time number one there are age-long infirmities blood conditions sicknesses diseases that are locked up in your life and your destiny it is time for them to go number two there are yokes of darkness that have sat on the destinies of men not allowing people to rise the bible says what seest thou and it said four horns these are the horns that have lifted up themselves against jerusalem israel and judah so that no man doth lift up his head the assignment of these horns are to keep you down so that your head does not rise and if you are the first person from your family whose head is now rising they now press you down someone shout no way say it again no way shout it by the spirit say no way hallelujah hallelujah do you know to a point where in our generation now there are people who are afraid of being successful because the moment they rise there are wicked spirits either they kill you or some mysterious disease just comes out how does a young man 23 24 years what is he doing with cancer but because you are the one god is lifting can i tell you satan will never waste his energy before he attacks you he verifies how many people will be affected by your fall it will be a waste to attack one man just for his sake every attack on your life i'm telling you it's not because of you it's because of the many connected to you but i pray right now every power parakatosiata sitting on everyone's destiny i call upon the god of Sabaoth. let those altars scatter now may they scatter now Jesus Christ, altars bringing shame, bringing reproach to your life and your destiny. I cancel that statement, be capable from your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm just hearing a song in my spirit, Jehovah Jireh. My provider is grace is sufficient for me. Jehovah Jireh, my provider is grace is sufficient for me. Go ahead, celebrate your victory. Jehovah Jireh, my provider is grace is sufficient for me. Jehovah Jireh. hallelujah hallelujah now very quickly very quickly the hand of the lord is going to begin to locate a few people here please hear me and ushers very quickly the next three minutes or so i want you for all those ones under the anointing if you can if you are if there's no usher close to you and someone is under the anointing please let me request do well maybe someone can assist just bring them there is a reason why we ask them to come to the front hallelujah 
we are going to do this very very fast there is something that God is doing the first thing that is happening right now is God is revealing to me I want you to listen if there is any family here that there has been a yoke of delay or anything connected to ancestry you may not even know the root I'm going to speak now this is the first thing God is revealing at the moment the power of God comes upon you just know that your family is experiencing deliverance father my God in the name that is above all names I stretch my hands at the count of three everyone I want you to shout the name Jesus there is a mighty deliverance fire that is about to rest upon people are you ready one two three shout Jesus I cross those spirits I cross those altars bring them out I cross those spirits release them now release your destinies now Release your destinies now. Bring them out. I cause those spirits. Let them go. Release them at this Oasis conference. May the hand of God judge the wicked. May the hand of God judge every altar. In the name of Jesus. Bring them out. May the hand of God Judge the wicked. May the abarakata vakapos. The brekete vakata. Let that fire burn every altar, burn every enchantment. Yahweh sabao. Yahweh sabao. Yahweh. Yahweh Sabaoth Yahweh The Lord is showing me chains and the Lord is saying release these families I don't know what families have been held down I come by an apostolic and prophetic anointing at this oasis conference chains break chains break chains break the Lord chains break chains break chains break in the name of Jesus Christ Yahweh I hear in my spirit release their glory everything that has covered your glory my Bible says but thou O Lord as a shield for me ah, yeah, 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 yeah. he says my glory my glory my glory my glory my glory the lifter up of my head everything that has covered your glory we tear that veil now we tear that veil now the Lord we tear that veil now we tear that veil now listen there are many of you 
with the level of gift and value that you carry you should never be begging for bread but when a man's glory is covered whether by witchcraft you are gifted but you remain small i say it again we come in the volume of the book anyone's glory that has been covered we fear that fail now we fear that fail a paragatosiata we fear that fail now listen everyone say after me say father father say it again say father for my shame give me double for my shame give me double open your mouth and pray one minute for my shame for my shame for my shame don't be distracted another sound is coming don't be distracted for my shame for my shame let it be clear that your hand is upon me let it be clear that your hand is upon me for my shame hallelujah in the name of jesus in the name of jesus who is elizabeth i'm hearing a name elizabeth we may not have the time elizabeth this i'm seeing a woman at least this woman should not be less than maybe 50 years old this is what i'm seeing i will pray for you but i'm not seeing a young lady at all in oh mama is who is that mama is a, no let us stay where she is for the sake mama i want to pray for you please lay your hand on your chest say after me i will not die but live and declare the works of the lord i curse every manifestation of the spirit of death you will not wake up having your 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 right leg unable to move because of arthritis i command that spirit to give way now in the name of jesus christ i'm hearing a name jessica in the name of jesus i don't know where that person is but i prophesy to you jessica who is jessica i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit may the lord restore your family may the lord restore your family in the name of jesus christ I'm, Wumi, i'm hearing the name Wumi. this should be a yoruba name Wumi w u m i Wumi. in the name of jesus christ i'm praying for you the lord is saying he's opening the gates of your career opening the gates of your career hear me what god says to one he says to all in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ there is someone here you are a barrister i'm seeing that doors have been closed for you but in the name of jesus before the end of this year i'm saying it to you prophetically my god will open doors in a way that will surprise you hallelujah praise the name of the lord now for all of you who are in front here i didn't bring you out to waste your time i decree and declare by the spirit of the living god everything god is correcting by his hand everything god is arranging may it be completed now and every spirit that will not let you go let it go now let it go now let it go now let it go now, it go now. this is zion the house of god let it go now you are released forever your family is released forever you will never forget this conference in a hurry in the name of jesus christ hallelujah praise the name of the lord for those who are fine you can return to your seat rejoicing i want to do something prophetically we are still going to sing this song yahweh now for all those who are sick just listen to me prophetic instructions are very funny but they carry power while the worship is going on all i want you to do is lay your hands where that sickness is are we together just lay your hands 
and when it is time to shout when pastor Nat prompts you just do what i'm asking you to do just shout by faith and you will find out a marvelous miracle this is what god is telling me you see the foolishness of the way of the spirit is that the natural the, the way of the spirit is not understood by natural men no matter what the sickness is as they raise this song the moment he's ready to blow the trumpet and he asks you to shout just lay your hands if it's your head lay your hands there if it's your back if it's an internal problem lay your hands there and you can also stand in for a loved one if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest we'll do this for the next two minutes and you watch the mighty miracles that God will bring in your body. Yes, sir. Yahweh Shabbat. Yahweh Shabbat. Yahweh. Yahweh Shabbat. Yahweh. hallelujah my god there are mighty miracles happening here now i decree and declare everyone having any pain any area of your body that pain leaves you now you are here and you could not walk feeling pains around your limbs i decree and declare may the hand of god rest upon you now migraine headaches be healed now peptic ulcer be healed now any growth around your body lumps around your breast or abdominal region we command those lumps to give way now the lord is showing me someone who has very severe the upper part of your back in the name of jesus christ you have a serious problem bending this is not the lower part the upper part the power of god is touching you right now shout a believing amen, amen. hallelujah there's someone you don't have any obvious sickness but you've been trusting god and i'm seeing that you've been praying you have hepatitis and you have been trusting god to take that thing away in the name of jesus i decree and declare that spirit leaves your body now high blood pressure high blood pressure high aparakatos leketosiata high blood pressure is living now now there's someone you've been feeling severe pain around your neck area and this thing is you are touching is feeling like there's some mass growing this thing is looking like symptoms of goeta but in the name of jesus i'm praying for you now right now as i'm speaking that pain leaves check yourself that pain leaves now that pain leaves now the lord is showing me a woman you take in 
but it never crosses three or four months something must happen and you lose the baby this thing has repeated itself again and again it's a demonic thing i'm praying for you my god i i just saw light as i mentioned this case in the name of jesus whoever that person is we announce to you by the hand of god this is your season to carry your baby this is your season to carry your baby this is your season to carry your baby in the name of jesus i feel stirred in my spirit to pray for children there is such a demonic onslaught over the health and the minds of children i'm aware that there are people connecting from across the globe as a body of christ i want us to use one minute and pray right now for this demon spirit called mental health huh? we are going to call it by name and cause it to its root go ahead in one minute here at oasis every one child the children in this ministry and the ones outside of this place we are praying for them 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 decree and declare mental health of any and all sorts plaguing children plaguing their destinies we bring every child under the blood we bring every child under the blood you're watching from america from the united kingdom from australia you're watching from across the globe in the name of jesus we are releasing healing to the nations right from here lagos nigeria we are releasing healing to our children they shall not die they are taught of the lord their minds are revived their minds are revived their minds are revived in the name of jesus hallelujah 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 we're almost done do you believe in financial prosperity huh believe oh if you don't believe god prospers people let me tell you the kind of lack and wants that would descend on your life it will push you to the corridors of compromise there is only one reason israel goes to egypt hunger genesis 42 from verse 1 and 2 jacob said i have heard that there is corn in egypt he said why sit you here and look at one another go tita verse 2 verse 2 get thee down and buy for us so that we will live and not die that's how they became slaves in egypt this is the origin of their journey to slavery hunger every time there is hunger israel will always go to egypt in search for bread and people will begin to compromise can i tell you god is not against your prospering and there is a real anointing that prospers men what god is against is your heart being lifted up that what he gives you now replaces him where else will god prosper if not the church now when it has to do with the subject of god blessing and helping people there is a whole dynamics there is a place for value developing your gifts there is a place for understanding the laws of wealth i agree there are many professionals here people in the financial industry we do not downplay that but we are saying that in addition to all things there is an advantage that the believer has in christ the bible tells us bless the lord psalm 102 oh my soul and forget not his benefits we do not serve him because of benefits we serve him because we love him but he is kind and benevolent are we together because the character of fatherhood according to scripture is the ease with which you give not just the presence of children in the mind of scripture the proof that you are father is that you are giving if you been evil know how to give good gifts to your children how much more are you learning now 
i'm saying this because i know that the body of christ is going through a mix of so many things i'm seeing many children come come and line them here don't worry we'll pray for them the devil is a liar in the name of jesus i will ask my friend and brother to blow over them like that wind it was the east wind that blew and brought all kinds of insects and pests to egypt and when god was taking away the the the, the plague it was still the wind we're using this our children as a point of contact if you're coming with a child just come with them after one minute you can stay with your child wherever and believe by faith we're just using them as a point of contact may it never be that a generation arises that hates jesus may it never be listen you don't know the kind of attack that is on the generation of these children you would think they are small the ones that we call presidents today once upon a time the devil grew with them are we together we look like young people but whether you like it or not you are getting old every day i know that you are fresh you are happy in the lord yes i agree but whether you like it or not every day you celebrate your birthday you are not just celebrating the years you have spent you are celebrating what is left hallelujah and there was another generation that knew not pharaoh let, let me distract what i'm saying that finance thing i'm going to pray for you on it i must pray for you on it if you don't believe it transfer your amen to someone else but let me tell you the truth ladies and gentlemen reject poverty let me repeat it for your hearing reject poverty reject it, reject it. in the name of jesus reject it reject it there is no honor in it it brings reproach to the name of the lord it brings reproach to the saints it pushes believers to the corridors of compromise but for now let's take a minute i'm standing in faith and we are going to pray and cry for these children whether it's your biological child that is here or not in the next one minute invest prayer over the next generation father they will not be lost this cancer of infant mortality mental health issues pray all the infirmities you know that plague children father let your hand rest upon our children may they serve the god of their parents may they serve the god of their parents pray for them lord walk on their mind the things they learn in school the things they learn watching television the things they learn on the internet purify their minds oh god purify their minds oh god pray that no parent will bury any of these children here that no parent will bury any of these children here hallelujah hallelujah i pray for these children in the name of jesus may you serve the god of your parents the sicknesses that destroy children i hope you know there is a spirit that attacked children when moses was born many children died when jesus was born many children died we're praying no oasis child no redeemed child here represented will be buried by their parents and if there is any child here who is sick mysterious inexplicable sickness that keeps eating up finances we cause it right now now again i'm going to request thank you pastor nat pastor nat is going to blow on the children as they blow on these children they may not understand what is happening but we are entering a covenant a prophetic covering of the hand of god that is the meaning of the sound in the name of jesus yes sir when we hear the trumpet shout shout go ahead shout over these children 
covered by the blood covered by the blood covered by his hand covered by the blood whether they are here or anywhere across the globe covered by the blood covered by the blood covered immune against death immune against failure immune against decline and decadence Hallelujah. Whatever took your parents long to achieve, may you achieve it in half the time. In the name of Jesus. Let's celebrate them as they go. We have to do this fast. Now hear me. Please hear me. I've studied a bit on the power to prosper. Because... I was determined to do ministry with integrity but among the many things that i learned as the key to a successful ministry is not just the purity of your heart there are five elements that are required for a great ministry number one is the mandate number two is the strategy number three the resources are we together yes number four is the backing among the many things required for ministry if you lack resources ministry does not just mean preaching whatever you are doing in the name of the lord is ministry there are many books today that should be written but are not able to be written and those mandated to bless them cannot be blessed this conference you see is not just riding on the wings of the holy ghost alone money was spent it takes it takes wealth can protect integrity did you hear what i said wealth can build a fence around your integrity yes it can yes it can yes it can so i'm going to pray for you we have been anointed to bless and we communicate the whole counsel of god including his desire to bless you listen the anointing for prosperity comes on three areas of your life my apologies that i'm stretching you number one on your head bringing wisdom number two on your hand bringing productivity or number three on your feet bringing direction if you don't receive this threefold impartation you will never prosper let me repeat it again number one on your head job said when his candle shined upon my head if your head is dark your pocket will be empty for sure are we together so it's not just about shouting amen you must know where the anointing is resting the anointing rests upon your head supernatural creativity after the order of bezalel he said there is a spirit in man and the breath the inspiration of the almighty can make men that means some of you at the end of this impartation go and register the company proof that you have received the impartation truly are we together yes at the end of it you cook rice delicious rice everybody is eating it for free by the time the hand of god rests on your head that can be something that god will use there are people who have gone around the world because of supposedly nothing there are some of you your hands a gentleman yesterday personal brought a gentleman who drew me in within 20 or 30 minutes i didn't even know I was minding my business and sipping juice and i'll turn and see my face my current face <laughs> have you seen gifted people begging gifted people they talk to you in five minutes and you say why don't you own a television station with this level of intelligence their communication prowess is at another level and yet they are using that communication to say can you help me and they say it so nicely you feel guilty you can't say no on your head number two your hand the value of what is on your head is only revealed by what your hand does with it your hand is a symbol of your productivity personal when the philistines held samson they bound his hand listen to me the hand
mind is what executes what the mind has incubated when God wants to prosper men this is the secret God showed me some of us did not come from any background with anything unusual if God did not show this light would only God knows what would have become of us this is not about prosperity money for no believers have been empowered for the end time service of the kingdom I vow to God that I will never manipulate anybody for as long as I live and serve God because I'm looking for something to eat but that statement is an expensive statement it rides upon the wings of the availability of resources there are sincere people who have compromised today not because they are evil when people are hungry anything becomes an option worth considering some of you right now you came to this oasis conference you are already at the verge of compromise someone is already telling you you know what to do and by one week you will get a job it's easy for church people to point hands at people and say you are this and that we when you tell people listen the the idea of consecration is abstinence from and then devotion unto it does not just stop at abstinence from when you tell people abstain from you must show them the way to be devoted to your head don't forget number two your hand is it not true that god can hold the hands of men so when his hand holds your hand you will be surprised what the gift of god upon your life can do men of you with all due respect and not to insult you you are wasting grace and wasting value creative ideas by the spirit and with half the things god has placed in your hand because it is not anointed and then number three you can have correct thinking a transformed superior understanding are we together but if light does not shine on your path for you to prosper the spirit of dimensions of wisdom this is not my teaching but that there are two dimensions that are responsible for prosperity divine direction and divine strategy they are all subsets of wisdom there are five levels of wisdom and there are two of them important for your prosperity divine direction he said the lord is my shepherd i shall not want because of how he leads you so you need guidance and direction guidance tells you your destination i mean direction tells you your destination guidance shows you the steps if i'm guiding you i will say follow that door and then go out that is the exit that's direction but guidance will tell you how to come down from this elevated position so to have direction is not enough direction means your destination your correct destination is in view but you need to be guided and it is its light this was the secret of job i'm saying this so that you do not i want you to receive from this conference that afterward some of you are going to thank this man of god that stands before you you say pastor nath you just saved me 10 years of mistakes 20 years of confusion some of you right now you got a lecture in one minute to reorder your understanding on finances don't think preachers are dummies not everybody is a fool suffering can teach you wisdom you can access wisdom and learn how this thing works i'm saying this because this is what someone is about to receive i truly believe with all my heart that god is a good father and among the many ways he wants to visit us by his hand is in this area of economic empowerment school fees of children right now multiplied rent multiplied everything multiplied if this grace is not released upon the body of christ soon we are going to lose our sons and daughters egypt will take all of them and they will cause god to his face because of economic factors but we forbid that let's pray now father in the name of jesus i stand in faith with pastor nath out of the abundance of your help and your mercy for the sake of your name for the sake of your kingdom i pray over your precious people you have helped men in different degrees but lord there are many who need your help in the area of economy they have stood the test of time 
through that the, the financial troubles many of them have remained people of integrity we cry oh god the hand that lifted job the hand that lifted abraham the hand that lifted solomon lifted david in the name of jesus that marvelous hand that helped uzziah until he prospered and became strong may that hand rest on your head may that hand rest on your head from today extraordinary intelligence in the name of jesus christ number two i pray for your hands i don't know what has frustrated the works of your hands but in the name of jesus christ let an anointing rest on your hands go and prosper with your hands go and prosper with your hands go and prosper with your hands number three by this prayer for someone confusion is ending in your life prophetically i pray over your feet whatever has been leading you to wrong places wrong people wrong businesses wrong ventures and you keep recycling pain losses and trouble may you be redirected by his light may your feet receive guidance may your feet receive direction in the name of jesus christ stretch your hands everybody and begin to speak over this request pastor now please may i request that you come and join me hallelujah go ahead these egyptians we are going to kneel before the lord in one minute and we are going to cry that god will bring visitations over his people go ahead we are praying please go ahead and pray father visit your people for your name's sake turn their lives around give them testimonies 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 avert death oh god avert death let the year end in praise let it end in praise let it end in praise encourage their faith send help us their way go ahead stretch your hands these egyptians that we see today you will see them no more forever hallelujah i let, i'm led to sing two songs let the fire fall let the river flow let it burn inside and flow outside let the fire fall let the fire fall on this river let the river flow let it burn inside and it flow outside aka akaya aka jiova Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. we ask for two things. Let your fire descend upon yes, this Lord. request. Yes, Lord. Consume every single request here present secondly let your mighty outstretched arm rest on every request we declare that you have permanently settled every request once and for all the egyptians we see today we see them no more the Philistines, the Moabites, the Amalekites, the Jebusites, we drown them tonight. We declare that 
every request is answered by fire thank you for the visitation of your right hand that do it valiant things in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen amen, amen and amen give jesus a big hand clap give jesus a big hand clap hallelujah praise the name of the lord now very quickly i want to make an altar call here right now there are people who came here today the overflows please everyone let me have your attention for one minute for the sake of someone who needs to make it right with jesus all this is about him about his glory about his hand but about your heart jesus is giving someone an opportunity to make it right and if you are in this place under the sound of my voice we cannot end this glorious service without giving you an opportunity to make it right you are saying apostle if you will ask me to come i will come i will come for jesus i will come to make him known in my life and then there are others who are saying apostle i want to rededicate my life to jesus tired of playing games i want to follow him sincerely i'm going to count one to five don't wait for anyone to be the first you are here this is the business of you and jesus if you are making your way to the front please boldly as we begin to clap come and stand right here the devil is a liar don't let anyone stop you god bless you my dear one i begin my counting now please those who are coming can you clear the way for them so that they come don't be silent don't sit back there two Give them a big God bless you as they come. Apostle, I'm a good person, but I'm not sure if I'm saved or not. Join them. Join them. There is such a thing as the assurance of salvation. Join them. hallelujah are you coming i'm giving you one more minute what's 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 that song that is in my spirit till he returns or calls me home here in the love of christ i stand Till he returns, all calls me on. You're in the love of Christ. What height of love? What height of love? What depth of peace? When he is a shield, where's my Thank you very much for your bold decision please lift your right hand and say after me as loud as you can say lord jesus i declare that i love you with all my heart i declare that you are my savior you are my lord and you are my king i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever i am a child of god washed by the blood of the lamb amen father upon the integrity of your word and upon their confession of faith i declare their sins forgiven and in the name of jesus i call you bona fide recipients of the life of god the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over your life 
I release you to live a victorious Christian life and indeed may the hand of God rest upon you it is a new beginning for you in Jesus name we pray pray from the depth of your heart in the spirit Lift your voice and pray. Bless him in the spirit. Mighty God. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, I worship you. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, I worship you. King of kings, are you praying? Faithful and true, Lamb of God, I worship you're the king of kings lord of lords faithful and true lamb of god praise the bread of life Emmanuel God with us the one who saves we praise the cup of life that glorious spring that washes our sins away lion of judah the lamb upon the throne we hail you most high the lion of judah the lamb upon the throne we hail you most high i know the lion I know the lamb, I know the lion, and I will follow the lion, I will follow the lamb, I will follow the lion, I will follow the lamb, I honor the lion. Bless him in the spirit. Shema la kata brande ge barusa zige de beleka tusia. Kate brande ge la hashala baka brande ge barusia ta. Make melodies in your heart. Shala bras kete malaka tusia ta. The Bible says, "Do not be drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be ye filled with the Spirit." Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns spiritual songs making melody in your heart unto the lord ala barata skada branda gede baratu sadige de balakatusia 
Brada kaparaga de balakata vrende ge de balakusiata. Shkadeberentos kalibara haska de baladosia. The one true God. And Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Don't be distracted. It's part of the meeting. Atashalako saprati galako sede brende gedia. Pray. It's an anointing service for divine preservation. I will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horses and its riders have been thrown into the sea. That's going to be someone's prophetic word after tonight. Ah, that the Egyptians I see today, I will see them no more. Indeed, we will sing the songs of Miriam. We will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horses and his riders have been thrown into the sea. Shapra <laughs> Imbrakati baraku shodo prodo godo balakata baria. One more minute, you are still praying. You are stretching your spirit man to expand, building capacity. De la baranda skadi bratu skadi brati kade balakosiada. In the name of Jesus. Been in Zaria for a very long time. Many of you who are in the north, there are donkeys that carry load. Many times, you know, because, because of the northern context, most of their transportation is largely maybe farm things. They carry through those oxen and the rest. And sometimes you can see those donkeys, they can put grains, put whatever, just touch it on them. And something that can run so fast, faster than a human being, 
is now limited because he's carrying something maybe even twice the size of it. That means the pace you are going in life is not the true expression. Not the true expression of God's desire. But that there is something hanging on your neck. Hanging on your family. Help that gentleman please. Now listen. I want to share with you a scripture. Something happened to me. Um, that was, I think it was day before yesterday. I woke up with this scripture. I would never, I, well, maybe, I'm sure that I may have read it, but I've never really, I just saw it like that from the dream. And I knew God wanted me. That is the key scripture that is for this, this impartation tonight. 2 Samuel 1, 21. Hmm. Ye mountains of Gilboa, let there be no dew, neither let there be rain follow closely upon you nor fields of offering he said for there the shield of the mighty is vilely cast away the shield of saul as though he had not been anointed with oil do you know what this means that means that the shield he was trying to explain something and he said look at that was the same place where the shield the system of protection of Saul fell as if he was not anointed. That means if you are anointed, some things should not happen. Are you getting me now? He says, the shield of Saul as though he had not been anointed with oil. How can the shield of a man that was so anointed fall by the wayside just like that as if there is no divine backing on him? I woke up with this scripture. That means there are some things we need to cancel this night. Please pay attention. I sense a strong anointing here because there is, is, is by instruction God said we should put this special anointing service. Why should that family just go down as though they were not anointed? Was Saul not anointed? But when the anointing left Saul, look how he died. That's what he's saying there. That the anointing is a preserver. There is a diplomatic immunity that comes with being anointed. When they are rejecting everyone, they reject you too like the rest. As though oil did not come on you. I remember some years ago I was praying for someone and um they said everyone who prays for the person you know something tragic seems to happen to the person and the person can even die people had died at least two or three people before that time and you know they were cautioning me me to be careful you know they just said please apostle we love you just be careful so that this thing does not backfire and with 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 every sense of love i turned and i looked at the person who was talking with compassion and I said, that's the thing. You see, you people, what you are looking at is this frame. You really believe. It's like saying a president just dies. All you see is not all there is. A governor just dies. A general in the army just dies. Just because you saw him walking alone and playing golf, you believe that all he's holding is just the golf stick and the gulf and his plane you may not understand the systems of immunity that surround him listen to me beloved when you come into christ activate these other forces and then you back it up with this anointing you can find rest that i i it, it is when the devil is looking for blood for the ember months for december it is minus me because there is an anointing upon my life listen now I know this is this is an emotional point because things have happened around you but let God be true make up your mind by the spirit of God that all those spirits that appear to you they won't allow you go to bed 
for God's sake, you go, God gave sleep for rest. But there are as soon as you put your head up, there they come again. Coming as all kinds of things, taking you back to secondary school, taking you back to primary school. What business do you have going back there? Help that lady, please. I like your spirit to be fired up because in the next 10 minutes we are going to step into a season of prayer first first and hear me many of you as you pray in that prayer you, you are you are sending a, an alarm in the spirit enough is enough enough of living in fear what if i die what kind of life is that you can't be effective living in fear what if i die what if i'm kidnapped what if something happens there has to be a system of safety hallelujah listen listen to me this man talking to you is not stupid though i have received all kinds of prophetic words for many years be careful with your life be careful with this we saw them kidnapping you we saw them doing this we saw this one planning to kill you the person talking is not stupid believe me if you don't engage this thing you will live in fear because the reality that surrounds you will be so real let god be true Listen, in the next five to ten minutes, please give some of my people the mic. I need these guys to pray with me. Worship team, give your mic. Let's have a few people go and, and, and pray. We are going to be praying and set this place on fire for the next ten minutes. Are we together? Maybe let's have three or four mics. There's still more people. And we are going to pray. As you are praying in the spirit, you are opening up yourself. Tired of these limitations. Tired of living in fear. Tired of living by any, whatever it is. By the power of the word of God. Now go ahead and begin to pray in the spirit. Are you praying? Are you 
In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 79 and verse 11. I want us to confront the spirit of death. Psalm 79 and verse 11, please. Media, are you helping us? It said, Let the sighing of the prisoner come before thee according to the greatness of thy power. Preserve thou those are pointed to die listen we are still praying preservation you are going to pray for you your children and all who are connected to you that the fullness of your days you will fulfill and any embargo of death hanging on you it must give way right now lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray Oh, death, where is your sting? Oh, pray, where is your victory? In the name of Jesus, we curse you by the God of heaven, by the word of the Lord. Pray, pray over your children, pray over your family, pray over your loved ones in the name of Jesus. Preserve from death, preserve from the soul, preserve from the hands of evil and wicked men. In the name of Jesus, 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 hallelujah, please hear me, you are going to pray and cover everyone connected to you, mention them by name and declare that under God and by the word of God, Satan, you have no hand over their life, whether in death, whether in tragedy, they are preserved. Lift your voice and pray. Mention them by name. He said, as for me and my house. Call your mother, call your father, call your siblings, call your spouse, call your children by name, declare over their lives, prophesy preservation. Oh, 
In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, don't be tired while praying. Hallelujah. You are going to declare that if there is any mark upon my life and destiny attracting tragedy to my life, that was what came upon Cain. And Cain cried. He said, by reason of this mark, anybody who sees me will harm me. You are going to lift up your voice and pray that if there be any strange mark that came by ancestry, that came by bloodline upon my head and my destiny, attracting tragedy in the name of Jesus, it is erased by the blood of the Lamb. Go ahead and pray. It is erased by the blood of the Lamb. Every marking of darkness erased by the blood of the Lamb. 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 Shabakata Bradakatom, Capratopraskate, Ebrakatapakatosko to Brikete, every mark in the name of Jesus, every mark upon my life, upon my family, upon Koinonia for tragedy, for evil by the blood of the lamb it is erased in the name of jesus 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 please don't be tired two more prayer points don't be tired at all the bible says the spirit is willing even though the flesh is weak don't make bargain with a destiny defining moment now you're going to pray that every pattern whatever you saw happen to anyone and is now gradually coming to you every pattern pattern of failure pattern of trouble pattern of untimely death that seeks to come to me my children my family I cancel it by the blood. Lift your voice and pray. Let me know, Baba. Challenge cycles and patterns. Cycles and patterns. Cycles and patterns. Every cycle, every pattern wanting to repeat itself in my life. I curse you by the blood. I curse you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Now, listen. This prayer we are going to pray is going to produce profound miracles. Listen. In the lives of people. I know what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit that is making me tell you this. Some of you may not believe the prayers, but that's all right. But I want you to pray. Do you know there is an average of six to seven in every ten people that have this mysterious 
encounter with spirit husbands spirit wives strangers that come to people while they are sleeping they come to molest you they try to sleep with you plant all kinds of things in your body listen as i'm praying now many of you the, the kind of deliverance that will come this has been responsible for the barrenness of many people if many people are to be open they will tell you a job is supposed to open up for you you get to bed in the night here comes that experience again someone comes to sleep with you molest you or some kind of dehumanizing experience and you wake up with a plethora of tragedies during our discussion on deliverance next year i will teach you some of these mysteries there are imbalances to them that continue to plant fear in believers i understand but believe me within the balance of scripture i can tell you that there are orchestrations of darkness that try to latch onto men say unto god how terrible art thou in thy ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves to you i shared with you my own experience the person talking to you is not in ignorance i was already in ministry and yet this spirit will come mine is just to come and oppress me and because of the prophetic i would see them i would shout jesus in the name of jesus blood of jesus as a man of god don't think i'm talking nonsense here i understand these things many of you because of the stigma around church you may not have the courage to open up to say look i am going through this some of you have the, you feel physically like a man or a woman coming to sleep with you and do all kind, and you find out that there are repercussions spiritually we're about to pray my god i'm just in fire in this place this is what i'm saying listen hold on just help those under the anointing because fire is falling here for sure say after me in the name of jesus in the name of jesus every spirit every spirit that is not of the christ that is not of the christ in and around my life in and around my life i decree and declare i decree and declare by the mystery of the blood by the mystery of the blood let there be an eternal separation Live my life, my destiny forever. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. An eternal separation. Every stranger latching onto your body. Every spirit coming to you using the faces of men, the faces of animals, creatures to molest you and oppress you by the blood. Eternal separation. Help them, help those under the anointing. I command that spirit. You must go. Go with the sickness you brought. Go with the infirmity you brought. Go with the tragedy you brought out of my destiny in the name of Jesus. Shut up, 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 shut up
In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Are you ready to pray? Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Whatever position you find comfortable, just make sure you pray. Just make sure you pray. Shalima Rasko Branda Katapratike de Belekatosia. Shapakato Sata Brandeke de Balakosia Tabalandasia. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Mante Kaparatas Katebreteke Lekatosia Tabahashia. Zapras Kateras Katabalanta Barantes Katebaliata. Ye have not because ye ask not. Ye have not because ye ask not. Alanda Salakata Breska de la Caparus, Ebreka de Belacatos, Conti Branda Sharakata Balacatos. Pray, he that speaketh in an unknown tongue and defieth himself, and defieth himself. Shana Makata Paratas Catabranda Gebaratosiata, Ebracos Catilla Parianda Breske de Balasia da Bacatos. Shimanekatebaria Leke pros, leke te brandos koto bete ko shige de belege da. Shibenia shabarata kata branda kata balaka tosia. Imbreke te parus kati laka parus ya tege de belege tosia. Shana belege te parus kata branda kata paroka te shakete. Imbreke tos koto protos kote leke te branda kata balaka tosia. Shemanda kate proskoto balika prada da kapalia da balagatos. Shade baka paratos kani bande prada gade belagatos. Hallelujah. 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 Now listen carefully, please. We are praying now. In John chapter 10 and verse 10, Jesus was teaching and he made a very profound statement. He called Satan the thief. He says, The thief cometh not except to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Are we together? So he reveals to us that Satan can steal, Satan can kill, and Satan can destroy. Now let me connect it to a mystery and then we'll pray. In Matthew chapter 21, please, give us verse 13. Matthew 21 and verse 13. This was when Jesus came into the temple. When he came into the temple, the Bible says he met people doing business within the temple is that true they were exchanging in the temple and he was angry and the bible says he began to whip them there were a few people there called money changers their job was to exchange you would bring something and they would exchange all that was happening in the temple so when jesus came he threw everything down and he made a statement that will be our prayer point now he said my house shall be called the house of prayer but you have made it a den of thieves listen carefully do you know what he's saying he's saying at every point 
his house is one of two things either a house of prayer or a place where thieves are carrying out exchanges and that house is you you that temple of the holy ghost he said at every point in your life you are either a house of prayer or there are exchanges going through in your life my house shall be called a house a temple of prayer failure to be a temple of prayer it was lack of prayer in the temple that gave access for exchangers exchangers of destiny exchangers of all kinds of things is someone ready to pray i like you to pray and find that house back to a place of prayer my house this temple is a house of prayer that means the ministry of the thief should not find expression in my house the ministry of sickness and infirmity should not find expression in me because this house is a house of prayer pray pray let it be from the depth of your heart my house shall be called a house of prayer satan you have no authority to steal from this house to kill from this house to destroy this house because it is a house of prayer hallelujah hallelujah listen i want you to believe in this prayer that you are praying you are not wasting your time something is happening to you acts chapter 28 acts chapter 28 in jesus name now please listen let me establish another prayer point in acts chapter 28 when you read from verse 1 and down to 6 the bible says when paul had escaped the storm remember an angel appeared to him and he told them there shall be no loss and the bible says they went safely and arrived at an island called melita now verse 2 28 verse 2 the bible says when the locals he calls them the barbarians the people showed them kindness watch this now paul was about to reveal something that the people did not have the discernment to see the bible says there was a viper hiding in the wood a viper a venomous snake that could it it could it could bite you and even kill you how did it hide that those who brought down the wood did not see it and they put everything together and while they sat down there as soon as the wood was on fire the viper that was hiding there suddenly became exposed if fire was not there the viper will still hide in the wood and you will not know that you are living with an enemy but as soon as fire was lit the fire exposed the viper listen can i tell you i know this about the prayer ministry there are things that you may never understand occurrences and happenings of demon spirit it takes generating energy in the spirit and suddenly you will begin to see that the things you could not understand are now making sense what, what, why, why am I receiving all these assaults from the place of work what is this when my promotion is coming in the place of prayer fire can expose the viper fire can expose the viper lift your voice and pray pray with this understanding that everything that attempts to impede the purposes of God in my life by the power of the Holy Ghost 
the fire that comes in this prayer Shatika Paratos go to Paratas Yada Shapra Katos Katila Kaparianda Katos Yata the fire expose the viper the fire expose the cause of your pain the fire expose the cause of the delays the fire expose the cause of the disfavor the fire expose the cause of the antagonisms Someone is praying. Someone is praying. Shabra katos koto prende gata. Lekata braska de shakata berekotos. Embre katos. Eka shakata beretos keniata kasa. of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus is God helping us Matthew chapter 12 from verse 43 Jesus taught us a very deep mystery Jesus was teaching on the activity of spirits and he said when an unclean spirit listen carefully is gone out of a man that it walked through dry places seeking rest and finding none next verse the bible says then it will say i will return to what the man is free but as far as the spirit is concerned it is his house and he says i will return to my house from whence i came out and when he is come he will find it empty he will find it swept he will find it garnished last verse the bible says he goeth and taketh with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself and they will enter in and dwell there and the last state of the man is worse than let me explain something to you listen it takes a man anointed by God with spiritual understanding to cast out a demon out of another do we agree on that and then the Bible tells us something serious that that spirit goes to the desert and when it goes to the desert where there is no man to cast it by itself there is a condition in the desert that makes that spirit uncomfortable and it will prefer to come back and fight with that man a desert is a place of extreme heat and that when that spirit goes to that place in the presence of that extreme heat the spirit by itself with no one to cast it becomes uncomfortable that means when your body becomes like that desert when your life becomes like that desert that the spirit becomes uncomfortable because the desert is a place of heat the bible says he maketh his ministers his angels can i tell you this listen you don't know how cheap satan is until you pray satan is as powerful as your prayerlessness makes him become that a spirit in a human body will require a man anointed by the holy ghost to get it out but it goes to a desert where there's no preacher no keyboard no drums no choir no protocol the heat in the desert will cast it back and it will come to stay in someone else That means when you become in the similitude of the heat of that desert your life and everything around you 
becomes a no-go zone for any operation of demon spirits is someone ready to pray you are praying with this understanding that i am praying to become in experience a flame of fire lift your voice and pray a flame of fire a flame of fire a flame of fire Saneka paroto soto koto variata a flame of fire a flame of fire Don't be tired. Make sure you're praying. He pratos koto prakete pratos kate prende kate lekotisia. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. First Thessalonians chapter two and verse eighteen. Very powerful scripture. First Thessalonians chapter two and verse eighteen. Is it projected? Can you see it? Can we read it together? One, two, read. Wherefore, we would have come to you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. Hold on. Wherefore, your favor would have arrived since. Wherefore, your lifting. Wherefore, your destiny helper would have arrived. He said, I tried once and again. But Satan, listen, I understand this scripture very, very well. Let me tell you a story and then we'll pray. Sir, I don't know how many years now, I was praying one night, true story, and then my my ceiling suddenly disappeared in that vision and then i'm seeing this creature and it is looking at me having eyes that are as big as a human head i'm not exaggerating it looked like a dinosaur and it was looking at me red eyes and then it had a tail the tail had its own life you could detach it and it would still be alive and he was looking at me with fierce anger and he made a statement he says so you think you can bring god's people into abundance that was a statement but satan hindered us you will you will be amazed to know how many things would have been easy for you But Satan hindered us. Now listen, let me tell you this. Even though it happened with Jesus, I want to explain something to you. Hmm. The centurion in one of the synoptic accounts pleaded with Jesus to come and rescue their child from dying. Remember that story? While Jesus was on his way going, another woman interrupted him and said please I have an issue of blood and he focused and was dealing with her issue by the time he was done in one of the synoptic accounts they said this other person had died timing matters in destiny hear me it was the delay of the bridegroom that made the five other virgins if the bridegroom came early all the ten they were all virgins the delay of the bridegroom made the oil of the five they all started well but the bridegroom was late i want you to pray with understanding that every hindrance i desire to come to you once and again only god knows how many things in abuja have been authorized by prophecy to come to you they have tried they tried in 2019 they tried in 2020 
lift your voice and pray with understanding I clear away every hindrance by the blood of the Lamb Paros Kates Kote Mashata open doors that should have come lift things that should have come answers to prayer that should have come Alike paruska te brante ke toska dia da bos e prekete kotosko to prete ke tele katos shames kon de brandi katos kiata se de brandi ke di bas de preketo prosko to maria tabada do shale e preketo skoto prato skoto prende ke te ba e prakato sopro so si ke te legos makata prende ke perusia ta e kreto skoto shoto prende ke te ba retos soon round up you will marvel and wonder the results you will get from this prayer believe me now listen once upon a time in Bible days there was a criminal called Barabbas listen carefully many of you will be surprised the reason and the explanation for disfavor around your life there was a criminal called Barabbas who had been troubling the people and they apprehended him and, and kept him and then one time when they caught Jesus also listen to me Pontius Pilate brought Jesus to stand and brought Barabbas to stand and they asked the people who do you want to be crucified and who should be released there was a spirit that came upon the people and they looked at Jesus and said this is the one to crucify and release the criminal how do you in your right mind release a criminal so don't be surprised that there can be four people in the office who are supposed to be promoted and in spite of your capacity that there is an orchestration of darkness where good can be called evil and evil can be called good he said do not allow your good to be evil spoken of that means if you keep quiet and you don't pray you can be doing good but a perception can come on your good and it will be seen as evil are you ready to pray open your mouth and decree and declare my good will be rewarded as good my good will never be evil spoken of Barabbas should never be released a criminal in the stead of a righteous man please pray your good be evil spoken of do not let your good be evil spoken of oh man of God oh businessman oh career person contend in prayer do not allow your good 
to be misrepresented. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Let me show you a mystery. In Genesis chapter 24 and verse 1, the Bible says, And Abraham was old and well stricken in age. Help me finish that scripture. And the Lord had blessed him in how many things? So God is able to grant rest round about. Now please come with me to Acts chapter 26. Acts chapter 26. Acts 16. Acts chapter 16 from verse 25. Acts 16 from verse 25. Now when you begin to read contextually, you will see that Paul casted a demon out of a lady who brought gain for her masters by divination. Is that true? On account of that miracle, it boomeranged on them and they, they now took them and kept them in prison. But there's something I want to show now. A prison is a place of confinement. It's a place of limitation. The Bible says at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and they sang praises unto God and the prisoners heard them 26 suddenly there was a great earthquake hallelujah so that the foundations of the prison were shaken please read the next sentence everyone and immediately all doors how many doors how many doors immediately once there was an earthquake all doors financial doors open all doors open a god can give a man rest round about he says all doors open all doors open listen when you read second kings chapter 5 will not turn there for sake of time the bible says naaman there was a man called Naaman. He was the captain of the Syrian army, he says. He said he was a valiant man in war, but he was leprous. Thank God for the areas you have gotten results, but for the sake of one other area, you must insist in prayer that in this year, all doors open. Lift your voice and pray. All doors, all doors, all doors. All doors, Kabarosh Katepekatos, Embra Katosh Kotoprente Kote Seketea. All doors, in the marvelous name of Jesus, all doors, all doors, open, all doors, doors of favor, open, all doors, doors of speed, open. open doors of fruitfulness open hallelujah 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 we're wrapping up please do not forget what I want to share with you now please look up let me establish probably the last prayer point or so the gospel the gospel that we that we preach has two sides to it there is the message that saves that is the first dimension of the gospel the message that saves and the key 
to propagating that message is evangelism are we together but there is the second dimension to it the ideology that transforms society so there are two sides to the gospel there is the message that saves there is the ideology that transforms society the key to advancing the message is called evangelism but the key to advancing the ideology is called influence I'm establishing my prayer request now my prayer point so for you to completely preach the gospel you need to embrace the message that saves that deals with you personal salvation but territorial salvation is the mindset that is introduced into systems and structures that enthrones Christ are we together now if you focus only on the message that saves you will be saved as an individual but your territory will frustrate your Christian experience an example was Lot in Sodom and Gomorrah Lot was a righteous man as a person but he was among a people who were depraved and he could not find expression so there are two keys to kingdom advance number one is evangelism number two is influence Satan has a primary assignment to stop both but if for any reason he can't do anything about your receiving Jesus now your personal salvation is a done deal the next place of attack is your influence what is influence influence is the capacity to cause men to buy into your ideologies without using force or cruelty territories can be changed overnight with the power of influence cultures are shaped through influence the Bible says and I if I be lifted up from the earth I will draw all men can I tell you most people downplay the power of influence at every point in your life someone is influencing you and you are to bring the influence of the kingdom Satan will fight influence in any way he can I want to show you a scripture because the gates of influence is about to open for someone are we together in Isaiah chapter 60 when you read from verse 1 to 3 it says arise shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you I would like to quote this many times from amplified it says arise from the depression and the prostration that circumstances have kept you rise to a new light it says for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you listen carefully verse 2 says for darkness shall cover the earth and cross darkness the people but the Lord shall arise upon you and his glory shall be seen in you verse 3 influence Gentiles all nations shall come not to you to your light and even their arrogant kings their kings already have results they won't come to your light they come to the brightness of your rising are we together the end time church is going to advance the frontiers of the kingdom not only through evangelism and discipleship but it will come through influence acts chapter 12. oh someone's life is changing acts chapter 12 from verse 1. please do not forget this scripture and this revelation now watch this you know that the disciples of jesus i want to show you how satan fights influence you know the disciples of Jesus were in different levels there was the 70 or 72 he had the 12 but there were three people there were things that they saw the rest did not see and Satan marked every one of them he started by beheading James it was Peter James and John the threefold cord that cannot be easily, easily broken when he found James and they beheaded him 
he went straight to Paul the Bible says they killed James and he saw that it pleased the Jews and he went straight to Peter during the days of the unleavened bread be patient let's read the Bible says when he had apprehended Peter he put him in where prison what was he fighting he put him in prison you would think that would be enough but then he brought four quaternions of soldiers to still keep him in prison it was not just confinement he wanted four eight soldiers again covered him intending after Easter to bring him forth before the people verse 5 the Bible says Peter therefore was kept in prison please help me finish the remaining part of that sentence but prayer was made this was what was not done for James unfortunately there is no record that they stood in for James and James died but when Peter was there the church said no way there is something we can do please keep it there we're still reading the Bible says prayers was made without season of the church unto God for him the result verse 6 the Bible says and when Herod would have brought him forth the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains Abba you lock a man in prison tie him with chains and put eight soldiers that's not a fight for liberty is influence and the Bible says that the keepers were there before the door who kept the prison verse 7 and behold the angel of the Lord came in response to prayer listen and a light shined in that prison and he smote Peter on the side and raised him up saying arise up quickly and his chains fell from his hands verse 8 the Bible says the angel said guard yourself and bind on thy sandals and so he did and he said unto him cast thy garment about thee and follow me verse 9 and when he went out listen carefully he followed him and wished not that which was true which was done by the angel but he thought he saw a vision now verse 10 the Bible says he held Peter the angel and they passed the first and second ward or gate watch this now they passed the first gate he was no longer in prison but he was still confined they passed the second gate far from the prison but still no liberty and the Bible says and they came to the iron gate which leaded to where so there is a gate that leads to the city every man's city is his place of influence did the bible not say you are <laughs> listen there is a gate that leads to the city when that gate opens the city must see you for who you are and now begin to place a demand the iron gate that leads to the city businessmen hear me you can be in a city and yet spiritually you are not there because there are gates that must open I understand what I'm telling you listen in Zaria one time there are few only few people here that really understand you know that may know Zaria the Lord asked me to trek from a place quite far in town and to trek down to a place called aviation and I was trekking and just speaking over that territory because there are spirits that reside over that place I know what it means for the tulip gates of a city to be opened can I tell you you can be doing I've seen many gifted people sir anointed and sincere but the gates that leads to the city has not been opened I've seen business people who cannot understand preachers 
sincere love God anointed but the two lift gates in ancient times you would never come into a city until the gate is open is that true every city spiritually has gates just because you move there physically does not mean the gate is open there is a protocol to influence now watch this the first gate opened the second gate opened and the Bible says this very gate was called the iron gate and my Bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder when Jesus prophetically in Psalm 24 was returning back to the land of the living there was a cry lift up your heads O ye gates and be ye lifted ancient doors hold on those doors have been there for a long time they are used to closing over people and the gates replied who is this king of glory can I tell you this listen for a few of you who may have seen the posters that and I'm saying this respectfully of my coming into the city when I was praying that map of Abuja or something there's one I, I, I don't I still don't know the names of your cities you won't believe it cities is city gates there's one map there like that that was what I saw in my vision that was why I told them to put it in the you know the the billboard or whatever it is because you see let me tell you sincerely spiritually speaking gates have seen sit um, um cities have gates you want to understand this properly go to the north you won't get it very well around the south you go to the north you see the entrance of every major place you see that now the gates do not have anything closing them but you enter and believe you are in you the city will show you you are not invited There are many business people in Abuja. You see, the Bible says they know not. Neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course. Psalms 82 and now verse 5. Verse 6 says, I have said, ye are gods and all of you are children of the Most High. The tragedy is verse 7. It says, but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of the princes. It takes high level spiritual illumination to be able to command authority even in prayer the foundation for effective prayer is access to the mysteries of the kingdom so that you pray in keeping with the will of God you can know your prayer will be answered your intelligence is consistent with scripture you are not praying amiss the iron gate that opens to the city can I tell you this some of you here are business people some of you here have schools you're running some of you here might be other ministers who came that there is a gate that has to open but when that gate opens you will marvel and wonder the Bible says Gideon blew a trumpet and 33,000 people you would think he did, he did not know where they were hiding he just there was a shofar can I tell you there is an anointing called a hear ye him anointing people don't just listen to you because you have something to say it takes more than that this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased creation was given an instruction hear ye him when that grace comes on your business right from where you are when it comes upon the works of your hands I'm saying this because we're about to pray that that gate in the name of Jesus Christ must be opened hither and thither because the king of glory wants to make a triumphant entry are you ready to pray lift your voice and decree and declare gates Efata be open. Gates. 
Ephata, Hita and Tita be open. Gates be open. Gates be open. Mande balako shadi kete bredi kete la pasta. The iron gate be broken, be open. Gates of influence, the gates that leads to the city, be open, be open. The King of Glory desires to come in. Be open. Jesus name let me pray for you now you have done the praying hmm. second Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8 from the rising of the Sun to the setting of the same your name is to be hallowed. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, your name is to be hallowed. Second Corinthians, I want to very sensitive now you have prayed let me pray for you second Corinthians 9 and verse 8 hallelujah Sir, ordinarily I would have told you this maybe privately in the office, but the Lord is asking me to say it in the open. I just saw a vision and I saw you and your wife, and I saw it was like two ships, and you were walking and you had gotten to the end of one ship, and I saw a hand stretched and it held you to another ship and it began to move. I believe, I not this answer, I believe that another face of ministry you hear what I'm saying go and write it down in addition to what you are currently doing another strange apostolic and, di and prophetic dimension of ministry is opening because this instruction to pray for a long time there are many things that God has not said yet that by, by the end of it he will tell why he called for a fast like this just believe me that this fasting is midwifing one season into another that's why God is saying 
I should say it openly so that the day he tells you they will know that it's not you that just said it that's why I'm saying it in the open ordinarily I may just go and tell him in the office I saw a hand like a sheep sheep and just held him and another season so don't you be surprised what will come out by revelation in the course of this fasting do not think it is the flesh but hear me it is another dimension of ministry this is true it is another dimension of ministry and there are three very strong anointings that will in multiplied dimensions would start working in the life of this man and his wife number one is the teaching grace number two is the healing grace number three is the prophetic grace these three graces in strong dimensions you would begin to see testimonies and manifestations of the hand of God this word would not fail it will happen by the Spirit the second thing I want to say and I apologize again God is asking me to say it and I'm saying it in the open your membership have not yet come the people you are raising are leaders by the time the leaders are raised it will be like an inferno of fire the kind of training you are giving these people is not for membership there is a strengthening they are building capacity because the oil stops when there is no more vessel and so he's listen many of you here you think you are just members of a ministry you are the leaders he's building capacity when he's done it was when the ark was ready that the animals started coming they don't come to wait until the ark i'm speaking this by prophecy an ark of three stories of gopher wood is being built even in this ministry and with this man and when that ark is done the same grace that brought the animals on their own they came two by two and seven by seven they will come by the spirit it will be a wonder to behold what god can do with a man who hears him give jesus praise now i want to pray for you do you believe in the power of god second Corinthians, please stand sir please second corinthians 9 and verse 8 listen after tonight you must do well to go and invite everybody you know look at what i mean as you are here i'm sure some of you is paining you right now that my loved ones should be here i was glad when they said unto me let us go not let me go let us go it's wrong when you are going alone it is let us go anything that is godly is always let us let us make let us go and God is able to make all grace not some grace grace is in dimensions God is able to make all grace abound towards you so that ye having all sufficiency in how many things May abound unto every good work let me explain this scripture that means God is able to coordinate every grace you need and to bring it within your reach this scripture is based on the principle that what is on you is what controls what is around you your results are a report card telling us what is on you or not on you thou anointest my head with oil not my cup it is my head that is anointed but I know the size of what is on my head by looking at my cup if my cup is overflowing it means what is on me is overflowing so the physical results in your life are attestations to the grace the kind and the level of grace that you carry are we together you can know that the grace that is upon you has multiplied by the results that change you can know what kind of grace you carry by the testimonies that recycle around your life they are receipts when they change something changed are we together 
meetings like this by the Spirit of God leads us to pray but then it gives us an opportunity to be able to take something upon our heads that we did not come to church with you can carry something that you did not come with the Bible says when the donkey of Kish was missing they went three days this young man called Saul hmm. and after three days when they did not find it he said let's return back he said no we've left too much there is a seer let us go to that man the word of the Lord does not fail and as soon as they saw Samuel I was so blessed when your man of God made a profound statement he said God's strategy is man it's not a lie when the devil wants to destroy you he introduces a man when God wants to help you he introduces a man in any case it will still be by the ministry of man are we together we are nothing on our own except for the graces that we carry listen the grace of God is a mysterious advantage when it comes upon a man with understanding it can turn the narrative of your destiny in one day when they met Samuel look at a problem that was costing them so much difficulty but as soon as they met a man look at how he trivialized that problem Samuel said no go up I will tell you what is in your heart as soon as Saul saw Samuel the donkey started returning home nobody asked the donkey to return home as soon as Saul met with Samuel be careful what you call impossible there are graces that have been anointed to trivialize your challenges and make it look as if the devil does not exist three things happen when Saul met with Samuel number one he said is it not because the Lord has anointed you to be captain over his inheritance and he poured oil on his head and said three things will happen to you number one the ass the donkey that has been missing you will find out that restoration has happened the anointing can bring restoration that means just because it left you does not mean it left the earth it is still there under a certain condition it can come back number two he said on your way going you will find three men holding two loaves of bread they will salute you and they will give it to you as if they did not know what to do with the bread they bought bread and were on their way home but because of what was on you they will give you two loaves say favor say honor. honor number three it says you will come to a garrison of the Philistines and when you get there something will happen to you and you will now begin to prophesy and he so prophesied that they said is Saul when did Saul who trained you we know how long it took for us to be prophets by what mystery did you access this anointing that by April you will invite someone and say come to my house and you'll be driving very far thinking is where he knew you to be the last time you met and he will tell you no 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 I forgot to tell you I'm no longer there listen can I tell you this please hear me I believe in diligence I believe in process but there is a prophetic advantage to living can I tell you this true dominion the zenith of dominion is dominion over time not things time you are truly walking in dominion when you can compress time and I will restore not the things the years let me tell you how God restores and I will pray with you I hope I'm not wasting your time that means you see in the presence of God there's nothing like past present and future that's a reality that only resides within the realm of men he only broke his realm into this tripartite the trinity of time past present and future 
to help mankind relate with him but God does not live in time he does not even live in eternity because eternity is also time it's just time without end God's realm is called now everything is a present reality you see in truth so when God reaches into what you call he can go into your yesterday and your tomorrow you see physically when you leave yesterday you don't go back again that privilege was not given to men ordinarily except by the gifts of the spirit and you can tap into information but from a physical standpoint when it's gone it's gone but God will find out based on his predetermined counsel listen carefully how God restores the things that should have happened to you because with every time God gives you there are things that should have happened if by demonic manipulation or your ignorance or carelessness that thing did not happen God will go back into it and push the thing to your future and make it happen again are we together so if by God's predetermined counsel you should be in your own house by 2018 but by lack of sensitivity you did not take advantage of the prophetic word that came from the man of God maybe at that time you were not serious spiritually and you trivialize the word you see that now the house you are building now is not the same one that should have come so what God does is that instead of you going through the labor of building it he can fix that rep that blessing under a class of blessings called prepared blessings hear me there are times that God will send rain on your farm and the crops will grow well you will do the harvesting and the storage but there are times the urgency in your life does not require corn it requires bread directly both corn and bread it is still the same God who sends it God is able to give seed to the sower and bread to the eater what if the sower is hungry because there are times the sower is hungry and he will need to eat to have the strength to go and sow so God gives you bread so that from the strength of that bread you can go and sow are you learning now believing that the only channel of God's blessing is your farm you are limiting his potentials manna can come from heaven manna coming from heaven does not stop you from sowing it's an act of his mercy to make sure you are satisfied early then you go and sow your name is to be hallowed I spent one month it was a February sir the whole of that one month I was praying and studying on favor because I didn't come from a background that would easily give me that privilege and I knew that if I were to do ministry with integrity I would need the favor of God when I found the keys and found the grace I knew this was it I want to pray some prayers for you now and I want you to receive it listen you will thank your man of God and you will see the sincerity and the love in his heart after this meeting and the testimonies that follow listen it takes more than desire to excel the kind and the quality of grace that is upon you when we honor men we don't honor bodies we honor the sacrifice of alignment alongside the election of grace that has captured this vast dimension of graces upon their lives are we together I want to pray for this grace for favor number one Exodus 11 and verse 3 Please give us Exodus 11 and verse 3. And the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Moreover, 
the man Moses was very great in the land of Egypt in the sight of Pharaoh's servants and in the sight of the people notice if it is favor it works with the power of sight that means when the favor of God is upon you the only person who should not bless you is a blind man the moment they can make contact with you they are compelled by an anointing hold on the reason why Moses was great was that it was in the sight of Pharaoh and in the sight of the people when favor comes on you both the king and the people see you in a way that is deserving of favor Exodus 3 21 and I will give Joshua Selman favor in the sight of the Egyptians what is the proof of the favor and it shall come to pass that when ye go prophesy to yourself I shall not go empty Esther chapter 2 and verse 15 the B part and Esther obtained favor in the sight of how many all them that looked upon her not them who wanted to favor her your mistake was just to look the moment you can look the anointing works by the power of sight please I'm not just exciting you believe in what I'm telling you she obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her verse 17 same chapter read verse 17 if you're a Christian one to read and the king loved Esther above stop above above that means before Esther came there were others he was looking at but as soon as she showed up he loved them but he loved her above and she obtained grace and favor again in his more than all the virgins so that he set a royal crown on her head and made her queen instead of Vashti are you ready to receive I want to pray for you now the power of God will come on you you don't have to kneel just believe there is a lady here who is going to shout right now a loud shout under the anointing the moment that happens that grace for favor will begin to move across this is what I just saw in the spirit the power of God is coming on a lady. it's not something you can stand it is it is these are dynamics of the anointing a loud shout is an anointing of the spirit that will come right now I'm ready to pray for you now father in the name of Jesus Christ by the spirit of the living God can shalikata help them please I decree right now may that grace and that unction my goodness let it come upon you right now take that grace take that grace take that anointing help that lady please supernatural favor I decree and declare I place it as a mantle upon your head go and excel I shift systems and structures by the power of prophecy may that grace rest upon you find favor with systems find favor with structures find favor with Egyptians find favor with kings in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus hallelujah there is honor is a grace listen 
you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself honor is conferred upon you by another honor is a grace that is transferable do you know what is, is honor honor means to be seen for who you truly are and to be rewarded to match the true worth of your person that's what honor means favor means to be preferred but honor means to be given the regard that befits your sacrifice you can be great but if honor is not on you you will not be rewarded to match your true worth let me show you a scripture numbers 27 from verse 18 to 20 let's hurry up for time we're wrapping up now the lord said unto moses take thee joshua the son of nun a man in whom is the spirit already and lay your hands upon him is that in your bible verse 2 it says set him before eliaza the priest and before all the congregation and give him a charge in their sight verse 20 please read it if you're a christian one to read and thou shalt put some of your honor on him that all the congregation of the children of israel may be obedient people don't listen to you just because you are sincere there is honor that comes upon you call moses he's already filled with the holy spirit but lay your hands upon him and then in anointing him don't leave him like that transfer some of your honor to him honor is transferable can I pray for you father just help those under the anointing I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice that in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God may that grace right now may it rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ that grace for honor everything that has despised your grace everything that has despised the investment of God upon your life I change that narrative by this mantle in the name of Jesus Christ help them please in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah who is Joseph Joseph I'm hearing a name Joseph who is that Joseph we're wrapping up what do you do my friend I cannot what do you hold on what do you do what do you do who is a who is a music minister here you is, is he a member huh you sing listen to me you see that prayer on the iron gate go and pray that prayer when you go back i want to pray for you because truly god wants to lift you but this this is not just by human connections is not what this is by the spirit i pray for you in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god may that grace that gives visibility something is coming on you right now take that grace now in the name of jesus christ you will never be the same take that grace by the power of the holy spirit God is there anybody here that works in access bank access bank access bank
Oh, I know him. I didn't even know he was one. There are strange liftings that are coming to people in this place. I stretch my hands, three of you, I, you don't have to kneel. In the name of Jesus Christ, I place an anointing upon you that in the marvelous name of Jesus Christ, this grace for favor, let it come upon you right now for your lifting. You take that grace, find favor, even with your administrators in the name of jesus and every conspiracy of darkness to implicate you we cancel it right now by the blood of the lamb in the mighty name of jesus christ let it be so in the name of jesus christ let it be so in the name of jesus christ two more prayers i want to release the grace for speed truly there is a grace for speed now hear me I don't know how we're going to do it I just have maybe less than two three minutes and I'm done thank you for your patience with me but I want to release this grace from the depth of my heart I told you true dominion is dominion over time now whether you are an usher or not please help me in this prayer because the hand of God will come on people and they will start running physically I want you to help them so they don't injure themselves and you can bring them out Right now, I stretch my hands. This, this ministry would be characterized by and with a strange order of speed. I stretch my hands at the count of three. My God, I'm just seeing fire rest on people. Please bring those under the anointing. Right now, at the count of three. One. Bring them up. Two. Three, take that grace now. Help them. Speed. Speed. Help them, please. My God. Speed. Speed. Receive that grace. And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. And he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab. I command speed. Speed in business. Speed in ministry. Speed in career. I cause the root of delay by the power that raised Christ from the dead. I cause a bakato shedegata. Prateske tebe katosiata. Empra katos katia. Receive speed. Receive speed. Receive speed. In the name of Jesus Christ. You'll never be the same. Speed. Ten years in one year. Ten years, I prophesy. Ten years in one year. The results of ten years in one year. Ten years in one year. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help that woman, please. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please hear me. I stand in partnership with the grace upon your man of God. In three months from today, according to the mystery of the ark in the house of Obed Edom, I stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic and I speak to you between now and the next three months, I shift you to a new season. Help them. I shift you to a new season. Hear me. We're wrapping up. That night could not the king sleep. And he said, Bring me the chronicles. And they opened the chronicles and he saw where Mordecai had saved the life of the king and was not rewarded. Hear me. Many of you have been part of the success story of many and yet you've been forgotten. 
I stand by prophecy. Let the book of remembrance be open now. There is an anointing coming on your wife, sir. I'm seeing an angel pour like oil on her. And the Lord is saying she's entering a season of reward. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. She's entering a strange season of reward. Let me say it again. Anyone who has forgotten you, I stand in partnership with the grace of your man of God. May that book of remembrance be opened now. Is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show kindness for Jonathan's sake? In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, by this fire that is coming upon you, I decree and declare wherever the helpers of your destiny are in this Abuja, I speak to the north, I speak to the east, I speak to the south, I speak to the west, I command them to show up for you now. Hallelujah. Last prayer point. Please hear me. The Bible says, believe in the Lord your God. So shall you be established. It says, believe in his prophets. So shall you prosper. Can I tell you this? There are different dimensions and levels of wealth. There is wealth that comes by providing value. There is wealth that comes by relationships. But there is wealth that comes by prophecy. It says, by this time tomorrow. And when he said it, the one who the king leans on said, even if God will open the windows of heaven, might this happen? I want to pray for you. Praying the prophetic dimension of wealth is not a license for laziness. However, in this kingdom, we are not just left with economic principles. There is a superior advantage that in addition to the value that we provide, in addition to the relationships that come based on our impacting lives my life is a testimony i can tell you there is a prophetic dimension of wealth in this kingdom who hates you does not matter but who likes you matters i pray for you finally in this prayer session of fasting and praying in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god the same grace that took a raven and it brought bread for Elijah at Brook Cherith. The same grace that took coin and put it in the mouth of a fish. The same grace that turned five loaves and two fish to 5,000 people with 12 baskets remaining. By the power of the prophetic, in the name of Jesus, I connect you to strategic relationships. Strategic relationships in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray.